Bloodstream infections are associated with substantial morbidity and mortality. So what is the optimal antibiotic treatment duration? I'm Ivana Pearl, an editorial fellow at the New England Journal of Medicine, and this is 60 Second Journal Club. The BALANCE trial was a multi-center, international, non-inferiority trial published in NEJM in November 2024, which compared seven days to 14 days of antibiotics in hospitalized patients with a bloodstream infection. The antibiotics used, their dose and route, was up to the treating physicians to decide. Exclusion criteria included severe immunosuppression, complicated infections, and Staphylococcus aureus infections. The primary outcome was 90-day mortality, with a 4% absolute non-inferiority margin. About 1,800 patients were allocated to 7 days and 1,800 to 14 days of antibiotic treatment, and were included in the intention to treat analysis. Approximately half of the patients were in the ICU and half were on the regular nursing floor. 70% were monomicrobial gram-negative infections. And the most common sources of infection were urinary at 40% and abdominal at 20%. Patients were treated longer than the assigned duration in about 25% of the seven days group with a median of eight and an interquartile range of seven to 11 days. And they were treated longer than the assigned duration in 10% of the 14 days group with a median of 14 days and an interquartile range of 14 to 15 days. The primary outcome of death in 90 days occurred in 14.5% of patients receiving seven days and 16.1% of patients receiving 14 days of antibiotics, which met the non-inferiority criteria. These findings were generally consistent across secondary clinical outcomes, subgroup analyses, and a per-protocol analysis. In conclusion, treating hospitalized patients with uncomplicated non-staphylococcal bloodstream infections with antibiotics for seven days is non-inferior to treating for 14 days.